Alright guys and welcome back to Armored Warfare and today we're taking a look at the Type 59. This is the little Christmas present that Obsidian Entertainment gave us for the 2015 Christmas. Quite a nice tank in that. I quite like it. It's quite a different machine. It, it, it's actually got some quite good bits about it for its tier. And we're going to take a look at it today and talk about the Type 59 because basically, come on let's face it, basically... Basically, every single person that's watching this video probably has the Type 59. And you might wonder how you want to play it or why you have it or what's the benefit of this vehicle. I'm going to go and talk through it as well. And if you saw at the start, I've got um, a new official sort of intro and I've got an outro as well from Obsidian. They let me use their in official intro and outro. So big thank you to Obsidian Entertainment for that. I needed one, actually. I needed one. And it's quite nice. Tell me what you think of it. So, Type 59. What exactly is this vehicle? Well, if you played the Early Access, you've got the Object 155. The Object 155, quite a nice Tier 3, I do say. It's quite effective. It's got some good armor. It's got an alright 100mm gun. It's quite mobile. It's a nice vehicle. The Type 59 is sort of like the Object 155. It had the f second camo in the game, I believe. I think the T-62 Veteran got the first camouflage in the game. The legend we have here the type 59 legend has the second camouflage the camouflage is really nice as well it's a nice chinese vehicle nice good uh premium chinese vehicle soon to be the chinese dealer that zheng guy whatever his name is bringing out those tanks and there is going to be a type 59 in the standard tree which is basically going to be this vehicle but not premium without the camouflage that's basically what it's going to be and it's quite an effective little vehicle i may say it's got very good armor for its tier, the Type 59. Very strong armor. It's got very, very good hull armor. About 120 millimeters thick on the upper plate. And it's about 240 millimeters, I think it was, on the turret. So it's got very, very strong armor for, for its tier. And it will bounce a lot of rounds at that. The hull is the weaker part, of course. And it's like the Object 155. It does suffer from very weak hull. It will be penetrated quite easily by T-64s, of course. T-62s will penetrate the hull. It's generally quite good against light tanks, AFVs, and dealing with splash damage from artillery. And as you'll see, this game, that enemy Abbott has... It literally, he wants me for Valentine's Day. There, there's no other thing that, it, like, he really wanted me. Two T-62s firing, but they both miss over the turret. I'm using this rock here. Since I'm on a slope, I'm just backing up, showing the front of my turret, using my gun elevation to fire at them. And then just moving forward when I need to. But the Abbott is ruining my fun. Look at this. Come on, Abbott. And then the other one misses. So he only hit one round there. One of his rounds did splash, but it did no damage to me. That's quite one quite nice thing about the Type 59. Is it's got very strong armor against splash damage and auto cannons And weak guns such as that. So we'll see this. This Scorpion. We'll see him later on. There you go. Heat Hesh round into the turret. 19 damage. Yeah, 76mm Hesh round is not going to do anything. We will encounter the Scorpion. We'll see how our armor fares against his 76. We'll encounter a... There you go. Bounce to 115 there. There you go. Fires another round. He misses. We'll encounter an Amex 10P. See how the 20mm fares against us. And then we'll encounter some higher tiered vehicles, such as the Zalo, for instance. The Zalo will appear. And we're seeing how the armor fares against the artillery. And it's doing quite well. The Scorpion's fired another round into our front turret and only done 17 damage. That T-62 fired a bit preemptively and missed. I have loaded in heat rounds, by the way, now. The AP rounds of the 100mm gun are quite nice. They do have a decent penetration for their tier. You do have to aim for weak spots on higher vehicles, though, like T-64s and that. But side shots and rear shots, they can do a fair amount of damage through the side. The damage does lack. It's only about 230 average. It's not particularly brilliant. And with a 7 second reload at this tier, it's not very fast firing either. So I've loaded in a heat round just to make sure that I do damage when I do fire at these weak vehicles. 10p90. What's that? 10 millimeters of armor? Scorpion. Even if that, really. It's not very good armor. But our armor is soaking up the damage from these Abbots and Scorpions and HE. Look at this. Just what is going on right now? So much HE flying at me. There's the Scorpion. Pull up. He fires, hits me for 19 damage. He tries to throw a smoke screen, but I just fire through the smoke screen and kill him anyway. Not really a problem. So we've cleared our flank. We're going to advance around, and there's the 10p90. Aim up a heat round. Boom. 216. Quite powerful. Not particularly brilliant. That was quite a low roll for a heat round. Ow. Oh, crap. That's the Zalo. Okay, the Zalo is here. 
There we are. Fire quickly turn. He aims for my lower plate. But as I turn, he hits my track. And that saves me right there. So I'm not in any rush. I'm not in any danger. I don't want to waste my repair kit. Use my crew to repair the track. And uh, that, that Zala didn't kill me. And I'm still alive. 294 HP. There's the lab 300. I see him. I fire and it misses. That could have been just... Oh, that could have been better. If you saw there, that 10P90 firing HG at us did 11 damage with all those rounds. He must have hit me at the bottom of my turret above the hull there. Because he literally is doing nothing. The HE is just blowing up on the armor as it would, but it's doing no damage. The, what was it, Lav 300 fired into me as well with a heat round. And he did actually uh, ben bounce off as well. And he said penetrate, which is a combination between penetrate and bounce. But as you saw as well, there's a lot of as you saws because I'm, I'm lacking behind on my commentary. As you saw... The artillery hit me as I went to advance on the uh, 10p90, blowing my track off, putting me in a dangerous situation for the LAV300. He could have quickly killed me and ended my game right there. So that's when I used my repair kit. That's when I back up. And I put myself in a safer position. And I'm still alive at that. So there's two guys left. A T64 on ridiculously HP. 65 HP. And the Abbott. Now, you saw how many rounds that Abbott put at me. That Abbott put a ridiculous ridiculous amount of shots at me. I think he must have fired 18, 16, 16 to 18 rounds at me and done the majority of all the damage at me. Something stupid like that. He literally wanted me dead. Not the M109, not the swing fire. He didn't want to help out of the T64. No, he wanted a Type 59 dead. Right, let's go hunt him. So we know he's gone down the bottom and we can see him there and he's. A, I was sitting there going, is he going to drown himself? Is he actually going to drown himself? But then there's actually invisible walls along that water, so he can't. So he's making an advance up north with our T-62 veteran in hot pursuit. I'm in a good position to be able to finish him off here. He's one shot. Can I get him? Can I get a revenge kill? Yes, I can. There we go. I exacted my revenge on that Abbott after the hell he caused me this match. Fair play to him. He did dislodge me from some of my good positions and did make me fall back and play a bit more defense than I could have. Good play to him. He did the right thing, but if that was me, I would have focused a bit more on the more heavily armoured and higher tiered vehicles on the enemy team. But who am I to say? I'm not the one playing that, that Abbott, am I? So the Type 59 is quite a nice premium vehicle. For a free tier 3 premium, it's got very good armour, satisfactory mobility, and adequate firepower. The, the armour is really nice for its tier. I would be happy to have that armour at tier 4, I guess. Well, maybe not. But the armour's good. The armor is very, very strong. It's stronger than the T-62. It's got, I think it's a few millimeters thinner turret armor, but about 15 millimeters better hull armor, which is quite a nice trade-off. Especially, like, the turret is very well-rounded, about 240 millimeters thick. It's very bouncy, very strong turret. It'd be good to have it tier 5, to be honest. So there we are, 3,200 damage. We got Master Gunner, Gold Medal, and Recon. So we were the scout of our team, and we were the best on our team. Oh, there we go. So what's our kills? There we go. We're two kills. Second on team. Top on the assists. Top on the damage. We came top on the spots. And we came top on the reputation. So we did fair. We did quite well, actually. So, guys, thank you for watching this Type 59 Legendary Review. Or review, gameplay, whatever you want to call it. Tell me what you think of the new intro and outro. I'm quite interested to see what your opinions are. I quite like them, but I'm wondering what you guys want. Because it's all about you. And as always... Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.